Hey, you guys, thanks for listening in on this episode on today of Tips with Tea. So today, um, it's just me again today. So basically, I'm going to talk about um, why is it important for you to write your vision or write your goals down that you have for the year. Um, it's very, very important. I think it's very, very essential um, when we're trying to be successful in life. So I'm just going to give you a couple of tips or reasons why um, so you can be motivated to do so. Okay, so the first one is it helps you to get clear on what you want. So if you want to achieve certain things in the year, it helps you to have clear, be clear on your vision. Um, two, it helps you to stay motivated because um, it's hard for us to be motivated during the year. Um, and then sometimes if we don't write things down, it's easy for us to kind of stray away from what we were trying to achieve for the year. So it helps us to stay motivated. Um, two, I mean, three. It helps us to narrow your focus, narrow your focus down, because sometimes we want so much and want to do so much and achieve so much in a year where it can kind of be overwhelming and probably not as possible um, when you were all over the place. So it kind of helps you to narrow your focus, um, which is also good. Um, and, it, and by narrowing your focus, number four is give you a greater chance of being productive or greater productivity. A lot of people don't think so or don't think that, but it does. When you begin to narrow your focus and begin to focus on one thing or take baby steps or, you know, set um, small goals or milestones for your major big goals that you're trying to achieve, you will find that you are very, very productive more when you try to take small steps, crawl um, before you walk or run. Also, by doing that, the fifth one is it helps you to measure your progress um, better and more effectively. So you can see how much progress that you've made so far, um, <clears throat> which is also a good thing when you write down your goals or your vision. Um, six, it can help you to identify people that are for you and against you because everybody, your vision is just specifically key for you. But people can be distractions, they can be hindrance. And if those people are not lining up with your vision, with your purpose, what you're trying to achieve, it might be time for you to step back. You definitely might want to move in silence. So tell those particular people um, because it can cause you to get out of focus. Um, just like the TV and the cell phone can be a distraction, people can be a distraction. And some people can intentionally be a distraction because they don't want you to achieve your goals in life. That's why it's kind of important to write down what you want to do so you can get that clear focus on what you want to achieve and you can get there. Um, the last little tip that I want to give is also when you write your vision down, you're making it plain, your goals down. This can help you to identify and surround yourself with people who can help you with your vision because we can't do it all by, our, by ourselves. We need people sometimes to help us along the way. And there are people out here in this world that genuinely, genuinely want to see you succeed in life. And it's really good to write these things down so you can identify these people because some people are very, very genuine. They will help you along the way because other people love to help um, other people and help them celebrate their wins. And by writing your vision down, making it plain, you can achieve all these things, you guys. Um, so definitely you want to surround yourself with people, like-minded people. Um, actually, even try to look into people who has been to where you're going um, and where you want to be in life. Um, and it might not even have to be someone that you physically know. It might be somebody on social media that you can start following that can help you stay encouraged and that can help you um, with their vision or you know you can kind of follow them on how they got to where they got in life so that's all I had today you guys just basically the importance of writing your vision the importance of making it plain um you know the scripture comes from Habakkuk 2 and 2 and I find it to be very very helpful once you write your visions down your goals down or whatever and you want to make it plain um I will encourage you to do a vision board. I do a vision board every year. Um, and it's crazy because I rearrange my vision boards every year whenever I create a new one and I keep them all up on my wall so I can see my progress. So I can see how far I came and where I'm going. That helps me to stay motivated and put it in the area in your home where you can see it every day. So it can be a daily reminder of what you're trying to accomplish, what you're trying to achieve. I do that too as well. I actually um, rearrange my board um, my board is yesterday or last night um, because I wanted to put my new vision board up for the year. And I found that I achieved so much on my previous vision boards that I really didn't realize until I actually took time to reflect yesterday. And um, 
it was very, very helpful to me. It made me feel very good about myself because I'm like, wow, I'm actually achieving my goals and not really realizing that I'm achieving my goals. But because my vision is in my face every day, it makes me want to go after my goals every day. Um, and another tip I would give you guys too before we close, um, you might want to do separate vision boards, one for your personal, one for your business. I did that too. And that was helpful for me too as well. So last year I did one for my personal, one for my business. And I both have them in the areas where I can see them every day and not realizing how much I achieved um, until I actually look back and reflect, which is also good for you to write down. It helps you go back and reflect on your progress. So it was very, very helpful for me, very, very uplifting. So I just wanted to share to you guys why it's so important to do so. I hope this podcast episode was very helpful to you guys. If you guys want to be a guest on the show, make sure you contact me. Send me an email at contact at mjfinancial.biz. Call me 910-317-0396. I would love to have you a guest on the show, you guys. And that's all I want to talk about today, which is basically the importance of writing your vision. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the next episode of Tips with T.